welcome back to another episode of the Beginner's Road to 180. First of all, I think I should explain why I've been away for so long. Um, so I think it's been about a month since my last video. Um, and I haven't been playing darts at all in that time, as you can probably tell. I haven't made any improvements and, if anything, I've got worse. But we can build it back up and obviously it gives a bit more motivation now to start this again and, and try and get the first 180. Um, the typical excuse is really just that I'm busy, busy with work, that sort of thing. Um, but now I'm back hopefully making more videos and have more time to be able to record more of these. But yeah, I, I know it's been a long time and as you can tell by this that I haven't improved at all. Um, but this is without any practice. This is the first time in a month that I've played. So, you know, it is expected really. I wasn't good anyway. And especially after a month of not practicing, you can tell that, well, I haven't been playing. But same thing as always, if you do think that there's anything in particular that I can change or work on with my throw, obviously I've got the camera now, um, then let me know in the comments. Also let me know for any video ideas if there's anything in particular that that you want me to do, um, any sort of challenges, things like that. Obviously, throughout this, sometimes if I do get, um, if I don't get a triple twenty first start, I'll just try and follow it up and sort of try and stack them a little bit. Um, most of the time, I am aiming for the triple twenty, but obviously my darts aren't aren't very accurate at the moment. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, I'll be able to practice a bit more often as well. So when I do record these videos, you'll see some improvement. Um, but with this video, again, I'd, I like to stop on a good note, um, and a good note for me is anywhere above like a 50, so um, yeah, so the best three darts are at the end, but generally it felt like I had no control of these darts, and also you might be wondering why I'm using two darts that are heavier than the other one, um, and that's basically because the plastic sort of stems and and flight sort of break off really easily and so all the other plastic ones that I had have just broken so now I'm using the the metal ones and I, th I think that in the future I'm probably going to stick with those because they don't really break the other ones break and then it's just a nightmare having to get the flights back on as well so that that's the reason why I'm using two um two different darts and then one one separate one but it probably will be affecting how I'm throwing it because Obviously, it's a different way. I can feel that the the metal ones are, are heavier, um, but there's not much I can do about it. I suppose I can go get more darts, but I have to I have to probably try and get a bit be better first before I can treat myself to something new. So here I've got a double eighteen. I was trying to follow up again with another double eighteen, um, but yeah, missed there again. So I think a lot of this is just about me trying to to stack them better. Um, regardless of where I'm hitting it. Obviously, they're all over the place, but I think given a bit more time to practice again, I think I was starting to make some improvements up until the time where I didn't play for a, a whole month. Um, which, obviously, there's been a lot of changes um, in terms of the Premier League. So we know who's going through now. Um, so that'll be interesting to see who, who wins that. I think it might be might be Humphreys that wins that, but we'll have to see what happens. But definitely won't be me, given the fact that I average about 15 every game. Um, and it takes me about 20, 20 to 30 darts to get a double. But again, this is all something that I'll be, be able to work on. Um, as we get a 12 there. And a 4. Going to complete opposite ends of the boards and then meeting in the middle with a 20. So 36 is not great. And it probably is very painful for you to watch it. So if you have, if you have been watching for this long, then, well, I applaud your bravery really for sticking around for so long, given the fact that these darts are awful. Um, two darts in the twenty there. I mean, for me that is good. Obviously, generally it's pretty bad, but I'll take what I get at this point. And the angle of the dart, obviously, you can see the the flight broke off there again, um, and the angle of it is just really weird. So, yeah, we're going to have a, a short maintenance break as I fix this flight. But this is the annoying thing about these flights when they fly off and it takes me ages to, to put them back on again because 
they're all really messed up and, and flayed out at the end, but... Oh well, um... Yeah. Come on, hurry up. There we go. Managed to get on in the end. A nice one there to start with, as we expect, and a five. Twenty-six. That is the... I think that's the most common score that I get, twenty-six. I always get it one in the five first, then I go to the right, and then I get in the one, and then I go for the twenty. So that first start wasn't too bad in the 20, and then, I mean, I don't know what I was trying to do with the last two darts. I think I must have been trying to follow them up, but so far away from, from the triple, if that's what I was even aiming for. Again, straight in the one, another in the one, 17. I don't even know what I was going for there, probably 19, but yeah. As, as you can tell, I'm very rusty, but hopefully with more videos, you'll start to see some improvement again. 20... Another 20, so this is this is decent for me, 58. And I think we're coming up onto the last three darts now. Uh, as I say, I like to finish on at least somewhat of a high note. For me, it's, it's a high note anyway. So one in the triple, one quite close to it, and another in the 20. So we'll take that as a, as a 100. As you can see, the second dart nearly got into the triple as well, so that would have been a nice 140. Um, but... Thank you for watching this video, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one.